This video demonstrates a predictable and reliable method of restoring an anterior permanent tooth using a composite filling material with the adjunct of a crown form or co-form tip. On the screen, you can see a selection of materials and instruments that you may find useful in undertaking this procedure. In this video, we can see that the fracture has been temporized with a composite bandage. Whilst the tooth is still wet with saliva, choose the appropriate shade of composite under natural light and using the appropriate shade guide. Using a high speed handpiece, bevel the fracture margins with a diamond burr. A composite finishing burr will suffice for this. If a composite bandage is in situ, it is important that this is sufficiently debulked in order to provide room for your definitive restoration. It is important to take note of what has been undertaken prior to this visit. If there has simply been an enamel dentine fracture, then the majority of the composite bandage can be removed. If the tooth has experienced a pulpal exposure and has previously undergone any pulp capping procedures, it is imperative that we conserve the composite overlying this. Excessive removal of composite may result in a further pulpal exposure and greatly diminish the long-term prognosis of pulpal vitality. Choose the appropriate crown form or co-form tip depending on the size of the fracture. Measure the width of the tooth using a periodontal probe. If significant structure is lost, then measure the diameter of the corresponding tooth. Use this measurement to guide the crown form choice. Compare the shape of the strip crown to the tooth in the mouth to assess the form. When you have selected the correct crown, cut it to the appropriate size to facilitate clinical use. The crown should be trimmed to encompass the defect and surrounding hard tissue to be bonded. A sharp pair of scissors is ideal for this. Place a pinhole with a diamond burr or sharp probe at the corner of the incisal angle that is being restored. Placing a hole at the incisal angle allows excess material to be extruded and prevents the formation of air bubbles and voids. For safety, hold the crown form firmly using a locking instrument such as locking tweezers when making adjustments. Etch the tooth structure to be bonded Take care to only etch up to the edge of the bevel. Thoroughly rinse off the etch and dry the tooth. Observe enamel frosting. Apply bonding agent to the tooth. Allow this to soak for 20 to 30 seconds, then gently air thin. Light cure the bond for 30 seconds.
Load the prepared crown, ensuring that no voids are evident. Further compact the composite using an instrument if necessary.